If you have a dream, don't let anybody take it away. And you always believe that the impossible is always possible. Hey guys, so today's look is a little bit different. It's not something I would kind of do on the usual. And as you can see, I've got things going on and they're hooking my eyeball. This look is, first of all, it is a Selena Quintanilla inspired makeup look that I have been dying to do since like forever. I've always wanted to do her look that she had almost on the daily. And I have, let's stick on eye heat now. The makeup is so subtle and so natural that it's just a bold lip, but you can definitely rock this in the day. Selena used to do that. Selena used to, you know, own that red lipstick. I know a lot of people nowadays say that you can't wear red lipstick during the day and yada yada yada, but I think just, you know, it's all about self-expression and the way you carry yourself and the way you pull yourself um, together, I guess. Um, so this makeup, I think, is very wearable. Like I said, can't be Selena without the hoop earrings. This makeup, I feel like she wore with almost every single look that she ever did, and she can pull it off, you know? Um, but yeah, I also want to show you guys quickly what I made inspired by her. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and I found all these gems that I had in my craft supply storage, so I did. I made myself a Selena hat. If you guys want to see how to get the Selena inspired makeup look, just, oh, makeup and hair look, just keep on watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a eyeshadow primer and just prime your entire eyelid. And if you don't have any eyebrows like me, you're also going to want to take that primer up to your eyebrows and also down to your lower lash line. Next, you're going to want to take a cream colored shadow and place that all over your lid up to your crease. Now taking that same cream colored matte shadow, I'm going to place this all over the rest of my lid. This is going to create also a highlight, but also help when it's time to blend our eyeshadows out. Now I'm taking a matte taupe color and I'm just placing that in the crease, making sure to concentrate most of the color on my outer corner, but also not forgetting to bring it in almost all the way to my tear duct. And now you're just going to blend, 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 and keep blending, and when you think you've done enough blending, blend some more. Now I'm taking another taupe shadow that's actually one to two shades darker than the last taupe color we used, and I'm just placing that in mostly my outer V, but also bringing it in a little bit. But I'm going to make sure to blend this out so that it doesn't look too harsh. For my inner corner, I'm going to be taking a slightly shimmery white color and just popping that into my inner tear duct area. Now I'm just going to be lining my lash line. So I am taking this pen and it is makes it so easy for me to create a very thin line because Selena never had like that extreme like winged Egyptian princess type look. So we're just kind of enhancing our lash line. Selena was also a fan of wing liner, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm A little quick trick is I like to take eyeshadow first and kind of stencil out where I need to draw my line just because eyeshadow is a little bit less permanent than like a liquid liner. And in the pictures I saw, Selena didn't really have any eyeshadow on her lower lash line. So what I did see was that she did have some black eyeliner down there. So I kind of just put a tiny, tiny bit and blended it out with a brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow on it. For my brows, I'm actually just sticking with the natural shape of my eyebrows, um, but personally, if you wanted to look even more like Selena, you can go ahead and follow her eyebrow shape. Now I'm just going to add a whole, whole bunch of mascara, and I mean like a lot of mascara. Now before I apply my foundation, I'm going to apply my primer. Now I'm just going to apply my foundation and then I'm just going to blend it all out with my fingers. Once I finished applying my foundation, I'm just going to set it with a powder because if I don't, my face will turn into a human disco ball, like oil everywhere. And now I'm just setting my face with the NYX setting spray, which is definitely one of my favorites, letting that dry. Then taking my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Ruby, I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. 
It's especially important to line your lips when you're wearing bright colors because this will really, really, really help prevent any kind of bleeding around anywhere on your lips. Over the lip liner, I'm taking this NYX lipstick in the color Chaos. And if you're a little bit intimidated about applying this color and getting everywhere, you can also take any type of lip brush and go ahead and brush on the lipstick. Once I'm done, I like to go back in with my lip liner just to make sure all of the edges are nice and smooth. And if you happen to be getting red lipstick all over your teeth, go ahead and take a tissue and put it on your finger and do that little thing. And to also get a little bit more of a Selena glow, she used to place her blush more on like her higher cheekbone area, and so not so much towards the center of your face, but more on like the side part of your face. Now to create her bangs, I'm just taking this reference picture. I'm just going to section my bangs into these thin little sections just because my bangs are almost to the top of my lip and I'm just going to take the straightener and curl them in. Also I put a little bit of hairspray into my hair so that's why my straightener is steaming a little bit. This is also just going to kind of help hold and mold the curls um, on our bangs so that they don't like sink down to their normal length. Now I'm just molding them into kind of where I want them to be. Um, and I'm also brushing them out helps kind of make them a little bit nicer and thinner. Now for the rest of my hair, I'm just going to slightly straighten it. I feel like Selena never had like that pin straight look, but she did have her hair decently straight. I'm also going to add a little bit of volume on the sides and on the back of my hair just because I felt like mine was looking a little bit too flat and Selena definitely had some volume in her hair. Every once in a while she would also go with the side part, so that is also another option if you're not a fan of the center part. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye! the Selena perfume and it's gonna smell like uh, chorizo and huevos. <laughs> I'm just joking now. I'm trying to like find one of her, ow. My bangs are like poking into my eyes. She always smiled really big, like I love it. Like I'm just so self-conscious of my teeth right now because I'm just like, they're, they're gonna have red on them. Okay, hey, hello, stick on my teeth.